Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here, and we have a video request. If you have a question or need consultation, guidance, wisdom, or me just yelling and cursing at the internet, as long as you pay, I will do that. Go to the world's only professional asshole at assholeconsulting.com. John writes, I have heard that power companies make a good long-term investment. One, is this true? Two, what is an efficient way to research these companies? Three, what should I be looking for? doing my research. I'll make this a video request so that others can bask in your genius. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> I don't write it. <laughs> a quick search on YouTube did nothing to bring any results. Alright, well let's <clears throat> let's explain the... When you say power companies, I think what you mean is utility companies, so electricity, water, gas, stuff like that. And that's for the benefit of the listener and we'll get a quick economics lesson here. Some things, particularly if you need a grid or a system like water, electricity, gas lines, it's best or it starts to become more efficient to have one provider of these things. So you don't have three gas companies laying down three different pipes of uh, gas uh, to the same neighborhood. The same thing with roads. It's probably more efficient to have one entity provided, typically the government, than is to have multiple. However, the government doesn't want to get into the business of running and managing pipelines or um, water uh, thing. So what they do is they outsource it to a public utility company. Now in my case, uh, we're in Minnesota, so it's Excel Energy here. And our gas, what is our gas? What the fuck is our gas? Shit, I don't pay the gas bill. The girl pays that. Oh well, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, you, you gotta sign up for gas. You gotta sign for electricity. So what these companies do is they essentially operate under a, a charter. They're monopolies. A, a government-approved monopoly. Uh, where they basically set prices, they, they go before a public utilities commission, they it, and it's it's not a free market. They they determine what the rates are going to be. They try to be as free market and and com competitive as possible. Uh, and they also keep it private because you know obviously you could buy stock in it. The government doesn't want to own it. It just basically wants to have a say, uh, making sure that these public utility companies aren't gouging people but it adequately capitalizes so far. So, they do some price fixing, price setting for water rates, electric rates, gas rates, stuff like that. This allows this public utility company to, it's, it makes profit, so it can sell shares and it can raise money by selling shares. Uh, but we're not talking exciting things. Um, so these are kind of like your steady eddy type of investments. They're not gonna grow by 8,000% like Facebook, they're not going to grow by 10,000% like Google. This is just if you're looking for a dividend, a regular consistent dividend, which is all you should be looking for, frankly, because that's the only thing a stocks pay is dividends. That you don't, The capital gains has nothing to do with this. We're not talking about stock prices going up. We're talking about what kind of profits does the company pay out in the form of dividend relative to the price you got to pay for that share of stock. And right now, I'd have to look it up, but it's around 45 maybe even 5%. Uh, this dividend yield uh, of these companies pay. And it all depends. Don't just think, well, my company pays 5%. Look it up first. Look up the dividend yield. Uh, do your research. Uh, maybe buy into um, a mutual fund or an ETF, which is basically just a mutual fund, of different utility companies so you have some diversification. Uh, so the number one thing, in my humble opinion, that I would be looking for is your dividend yield because that's pretty predominantly why you invest in these companies. You don't invest in them at $10 hoping they go up to 1000 because it's just not the growth in these in these industries. But they do pay that steady eddy uh, dividend and right now 5% beats pretty much anything you're going to find. Unless you start getting into higher risk companies that yeah they pay a great dividend but they may not be around next week. Uh, so uh, let me guess, is it true? So, is it true that they're good long-term investments? I can't answer that because I don't know which one you're talking about. I'm just covering my legal ass here. There's, the, we'd have to look historically at what's been. Historically, they've paid pretty good dividends. Yes, uh, I don't think many of them have gone belly up. I'd have to do, you know, because they are granted a monopoly. Uh, what is an efficient way to research these companies? Just as you would any other company. So go online, get their annual reports. Um, you can go Morningstar or Yahoo Stock Screener or Google or Reuters 
and just look up all their financial information. This presupposes that you know how to read financial statements and that um, you uh, you know you know what dividend yield is. You don't want debt. That is kind of a bad thing. You know, you look at your debt ratios. So without going into a <clears throat> long and boring um, tutorial on financial statement analysis, which you can if you go and take my class, the analysis and valuation of stocks, look it up. It's on the internet. Uh, but without going into that, yeah, you'd analyze any other company. You want to have low debt or relatively low debt. You don't want them uh, investing money in non-energy or utility-related things. Uh, you want to stay in their field. So look at their cash flow statement. Uh, low debt, adequate profit margins, which are already predetermined. And the key thing is that your dividend yield is high enough because that's your real rate of return. Uh, what should I be looking during my research? Got that. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. So I think I answered all the questions there. But yeah, they're they're not they're not glorious. They're not exciting. They're not going to grow at twenty percent a year. They are going to pay you a dividend, though. Oh, I can't even guarantee you that. They, in theory, have passed paid pretty good dividends. Uh, so yeah, if you're just if you're looking for a place to park your money, and uh, you know, there's there's no such thing as no risk. They could all go belly up tomorrow. But if you want to eke out a little bit more than your two percent or whatever the paltry interest rate you're getting over on your checking account or your CDs. You might want to take a look at these uh, these um, uh, these utility companies. So anyway, best of luck, toodles.